Hi everybody. So the most popular question that I've been getting lately is how do I harvest garden roses? Since everybody's roses are starting to bloom or have been blooming for a while. I don't have that many roses blooming yet because we pruned really, really late, but I think I have enough to give you some decent examples here. Okay, so we've got a fully closed bud. We've got a bud that the sepals are just starting to loosen up and turn down. And we've got a bud that has sepals fully down. All three of these are too early to harvest. They are too small and the rose petals haven't sized up enough to harvest these roses. I would say that this one and this one are probably about two to three days away, maybe Sunday, it's Friday today. This one is gonna be like late next week because the sepals are still completely up. Very healthy, beautiful bud. But this one is ready. So this one here, this is Clouds of Glory, by the way, hybrid tea, merely th thornless. This, this bloom is ready. So the outermost petals have started to unfurl away from the center of the bud. And there's a looseness to it. Like you, there's some give when you pinch on the bloom, but it's not fully open, clearly. So the way that I harvest, um, it really depends on like how much plant you have. Um, typically like our roses, uh, when we were harvesting for florists and for customers, they would be um, a little bit taller than this. But um, this plant is about, I don't know, four feet tall or so. So you would just come down to, as long as you wanna make the stem, I'm gonna make this one about 12 inches and cut at an angle. And so got about 12 inches here and the top part is completely thornless. There's a few little thorns at the bottom that you can just clip off. But that is a great example of a bloom that is ready to be harvested. And you should get, once you harvest this, you should get at least, I'm gonna say four to five days in the vase, possibly longer. Now, while this is like the optimum time to harvest, if you want to have a long vase life, you can always harvest your roses when they're more open. So this one down here is a little bit more open. You can see um, there's it, the, the bud is just bigger than that last one. Um, and you can even harvest at this stage. So this stage here um, is almost fully open, but as you can see on the inside, there is still some of the bloom to still pull back. And if I were to harvest this rose, it smells amazing um, and bring it inside. It would probably start to drop its petals by like Sunday morning. Um, and obviously since this bloom has been outside on the plant, it's got some like water damage to it. We did overhead water these to clean them off though. Um, we put mulch down and mulch got all over the plants. So we took our hoses through um, and hosed them off. So that's why they're a bit brown on those outer petals, but still very, very pretty. Um, and you would just pick off all the foliage that would be below your water line always. And again, no thorns. Um, let's see here what I can find. So here is, here's a bud with some thrips damage. I don't know how well this is going to be able to be translated on this, but, um, this is thrips damage. I don't know why... None of those others have it, but you can see how this petal is starting to like fold inward and you can see all of this like browning at the top of um, the petals. It's like almost like chew marks. It's actually sucking. The thrips suck on um, the petals and pull their, ju their juices out. And I do see some thrips down in there. We have not sprayed for thrips um, in at least like three to four weeks. I think we're spraying on Monday. We're waiting for some chemicals to come in. Um, but it's still fine. It's not a, it's not a bloom we would cut for um, an order, obviously, because it has like this wonky stem and it was short toward the bottom of the plant and very small. But if you can make this out, I'll take a photo too. There is thrips damage on this. And I don't know what else. I think just the main thing is for harvesting, you just want, you want to cut as much as you're comfortable cutting off your bush. Remember, the more you cut, the more, uh, the more you cut back your roses, the more they grow. So there's no harm in cutting flowers. 
but um, it's just really up to you. But optimally, like this is the stage that you want to cut to get um, four or five, six days in the vase inside your house. So I'll go ahead and take some photos of these to put up with the video. But here it is at the prime cutting time. And there's nothing wrong with cutting roses like this, but just don't expect to enjoy them for very long. So this is what you have. And I'll take some photos of this rose um, over the next few days as it opens and blooms to show you the bloom progression. So that's it. Thank you.